Hello, I'm Steven and I like to make cardboard costumes and props. Today I'm going to use a cardboard pizza box and some scrap paper to make the Holy Grail from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Let's get started! I started off with this template that I made off camera and it has a lot, a lot of circles on it. 45 total. Each of these circles needs to get cut out of corrugated cardboard and if you're going to follow along, you just want that one layer of corrugation and like I said, I used a pizza box. All the circles on the template are numbered and they correspond with the order in which they need to be glued. So number one, all the way up to 45 with number one on the bottom and 45 on the top. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I took the smaller circles, taped them onto the flaps of the pizza box and used scissors to cut them out. By the way, save all of the scraps of paper. I kept the number template piece with the corresponding circle until I had a nice little stack that I could label. I wrote the number of each circle onto the cardboard circle, and then I moved on to the bigger rings. These rings were taped down the exact same way as before, except I cut the insides out with a utility knife, and then used scissors or a knife to cut out the rest of it. And I always made sure to label each of the rings with their corresponding number. Woo, okay, in the final stretch of cutting. Just to repeat the process again, Tape the template pieces onto corrugated cardboard, break down the big pieces to make it manageable, cut the insides out with a knife, cut the outsides out with scissors. Label. Boom! An hour and a half later and you get all of this. 45 circles. Now it's time to stack. I grabbed piece number one, placed it in the center of my workplace, and then used white glue to glue piece number two right on top of it. I repeated this for all of the pieces, making sure to go slowly and to glue each piece in the center of the stack. If you're following along, feel free to glue liberally and constantly pick it up to make sure that it doesn't look lopsided. You want it just to be perfectly centered. The bowl of the goblet is the trickiest part of it because the pieces are so thin. My fingers were completely covered in glue at the end of this, but it didn't take long to stack everything together. Um, it was much shorter than actually cutting it out. And yeah, here's the grail. It's at this point that I realized that my proportions were a little bit off. Um, it should be higher, but you know what? At this point, I was tired of cutting out circles and I ran out of corrugated cardboard. So I decided to stick with this height. However, feel free to add a few extra pieces um, if you want to make it a little bit higher. Anyway, time to cover everything in paper mache using the scrap paper from the template. Let's rip up that paper. You may be wondering, what the heck did Uncle Steven do? Why is it all white all of a sudden? Well, I forgot to press record, so I scraped off all of the wet paper mache to redo it for the camera. Feel free to tell me I'm crazy for doing this. But yeah, I covered the grail in paper mache, and paper mache is just flour, water, and some glue mixed together. I did the paper mache in three sections, the outside of the bowl, the neck and base, and then the inside of the bowl. Breaking it up like that was good, so nothing got too wet while I was working. Once all the paper mache dried, I gave the outside a light sanding just to smooth away some of the bumps. Then it was time to paint. It's kind of an interesting paint job. The first layer is light brown and I didn't try to get full coverage when I painted it. I kept some of the white paper mache poking through. I let that light brown dry and then I added a layer of rusty red that's just red mixed with a little bit of brown. I let that dry and then I added on a layer of gold. When the gold layer dried, the next layer was white. And similar to the brown layer, I didn't try to get complete coverage. I kept it so you can kind of see the layers underneath it poking through. However, while that paint was still a little bit tacky, I dusted it in um, baby powder just to help make it look uh, very old. After all that, I painted the inside of the cup in black and then in several layers of light gold. And yeah, it's time for the glamour shots. And 
there you have it. The Holy Grail from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade made completely out of cardboard and the scrap paper from the actual template itself. I think it's pretty cool. And this was my first time doing a stacked cardboard project like this. So even though my proportions aren't 100% accurate to the movie, I'm pretty pleased with it and I think it does its job. I hope you guys like it too and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.